guys, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different or at least a little bit different from my channel and give book recommendations based on McFly songs because McFly just came back as of this week and I just bought tickets to their one-off show at the O2 this year as of about two hours ago and I am ridiculously excited and I wanted to do something bookish and McFly-ish at the same time to sort of celebrate and if you don't know who McFly are first before I get into it, they're these people here these people here, they're the people who signed that shirt, they're the ones who wrote the books on this shelf. Um, yeah, I'm a bit obsessed, quite frankly. I have been since the age of 12. They're the reason why my hair was dyed five colours and will be soon going back five colours. And I just absolutely adore them. If you've heard the song Five Colours in a Hair or Obviously or All About You, that's them. If you've read The Christmas Horse, The Creakers or Eve of Man, Tom as in that one wrote it. And... I just absolutely adore them, quite frankly, and I want to share the love a bit and sort of introduce them to a bit of a wider audience if I can, so I thought this would be the best way to do it, because I'm also giving book recommendations, so let's just get right into it, and the first song I'm going with is obviously Five Colours in Her Hair. And for that, I'm recommending The Midnight Society. And now, while I haven't actually read this book yet, it's been high on my list for a while now. And that's simply because, one, it sounds interesting, and two, the main character on the front cover has five colours in her hair. I don't know if that's actually true of the character in the book, but I'm pretty sure it would be. Otherwise, why would it be on the cover? And quite frankly, I've got to read something about my kin, you know, because... I need more girls on front covers of books with five colours in their hair, or at least multi-coloured hair. Because, you know, one colour, all good, but five, epic, absolutely epic, need more of it. Next I'm going to go on to I'll Be Okay. I'm actually going to go with McFly's actual autobiography, Unsaid Things, here because I feel like I'll be okay sums it up perfectly because upon reading this book I was shocked to find out so many things I didn't actually know about them because this book will actually contain trigger warnings for suicide attempts, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, that's just one person, bipolar disorder going on diagnosed for several several years eating disorders anxiety a uh, severe ocd as you know the severe ocd doesn't come into this one it comes into get fit get happy but either way still ocd problems parental divorce and just so many other things but despite all of that it gives such a good message that you can get through it and that things will be okay again in the end and with the right help and friendship and wanting to get better and everything else you can get better and i absolutely love that about this book because it's not just about that it's also about achieving dreams and just living your dreams and fighting for your dreams and everything else it's just it is very much to me the idea of hope and it does tell me quite a lot that i'll be okay and i love that about this book quite frankly i absolutely love that about this book then onto a personal favorite star girl
And for that I'm going to go with Cinder because for this, that song's all about falling in love with an alien girl and, spoiler alert, well I would say spoiler alert, but Cinder is like seven, eight years old now and it's a booktube favourite so I'm technically not counting as a spoiler but Cinder is an alien girl and obviously Kai falls in love with her. That's what I'm going for with this. Obviously that song is a lot happier than this book so in that sense not so good but it is all about falling in love with an alien girl and that fits star girl perfectly next song i'm going with is lies which is my actual favorite most of the time i have like five favorites that sort of five for the top spot constantly but lies is definitely up there constantly <laughs> Nevernight because this series has so many people lying to each other in it constantly and it's all about revenge and getting revenge and violence and stuff and it just I always think of lies when I read this series quite frankly because I think it just fits Mia's anger and Mia's life so well obviously that's talking more about cutting the brakes on someone's car and this is obviously about murdering people by stabbing them so it's a bit different there but it's the same sort of vibe. Onto a song called Noah Left to Run. A curse of dark and lonely because without Harper, Prince Wren and his kingdom will die, or at least Prince Wren will become a beast and will technically die because it won't be him in his head anymore, and his kingdom will die. So it's sort of like he needs her to save him in that way, and I just think it fits quite well. And now to slow things down for a song. <laughs> really own any books which is a simple love story quite frankly because every love story i read i either dnf because i get bored because i'm uh, very much a cynic or they have a hell of a time but the uh, basically the only love story i can think of in a book that i actually like and has some level of easiness to it is the princess bride because while buttercup and wesley go through hell with each other loving each other is really easy for them to do i guess because they love each other constantly no matter what happens and they just love endlessly so i'm going with it and now for a song i first heard in 2012 but it's only just being released this sunday and i am ridiculously excited and it's called red
actually inspired by graphic novels it turns out but I'm not actually gonna go with one no matter how much I want to say House of M because I think I talk enough about House of M on this channel so instead I'm going with this Savage song because that's sort of very post-apocalyptic two people against the world thing and I just love the idea of this whole dark side to one of the characters and obviously that is what this Savage song and our dark duet is all about so it always reminds me of Red when I think about those books, so I just think it's a perfect match. And that is it for my book recommendations. I only wanted to do one song per album because otherwise I would have been here all day going through 63 songs and that would have just been ridiculous. So I'm going to leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're a McFly fan because I would love to find more in this community because... I need more Galaxy Defender friends, so please tell me that down below. I'll also leave a link down below to all my social media if you want to check out. If you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here. And over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye.